One security expert believes that splitting the intelligence service between domestic and foreign branches is a good idea. The average South African should be really happy about this news because for at least nine years, as I was saying, our intelligence services have had their eyes well and truly off the ball. They've been involved with all kinds of empire building and personal agendas and not focusing on what they should be doing, which is protecting the integrity of the South African state from an intelligence and a um, threat point of view. So I think it's great news. Previously, under President Mandela's uh, tenure and even before that, we had a domestic arm that focused on what was going on inside the country and you had the, uh, the foreign intelligence service based in our embassies abroad. Mm -hmm. and, you, and really, I mean, there is overlap, but there is very little that they have in common from um, an operational perspective. Mm -hmm. So I think that's great news and I commend the president. I'm delighted that this has happened. And like in anything, this um, will, the success of this new intelligence uh, structure will depend on the leadership. So the leadership from the top has spoken, great. So now the intelligence ministers and the heads of those departments need to knuckle down and get their teeth into what, uh, what we know our problems are. And domestically they are organized crime and the fact that we just, not, we just don't know what those threats are that are, you know, that are out there and, and against every South African, against you and me.